Hey, let's uh, let's see that tattoo. Hey, Randy, show me some leg. <laughs> Look at that. Randy just got a tattoo, so now it has that second skin stuff on it. So it's that's not part of it. The pink. Yeah, <laughs> I, I wanted it to be. But. So uh, Randy never needs to wear spurs again. He's just always got them ready to go. He it'll, can't. He can't. I'll never spur this car. Back. Yeah, he'll never spur this one. No, no pruning for Randy. Here's the job today. This is kind of gnarly. So, well, this this is actually the, the easier this one. is the easier tree that somebody with much less skill is gonna do. I'm not naming any names, but <laughs> it's a big town only. This is actually a big cottonwood. This especially on the stump. This thing is a uh, really big. Yeah, this is kind of a swamp back here, and you can see why they want it removed. Right, it's just a big nasty cottonwood. Look at this. But it's down only. Randy's gonna do this. We got a few guys here with us today. We got Sandra, he's still visiting from Norway. Brought Kevin. So there are actually four of us out here today, but Sandra can't really work or he'll get deported. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll put him on camera duty. Um, yeah, let me show you this tree. This is kind of gnarly. Yeah, I was here back in October and I did this maple and he was asking me about this tree and I was like, you know, I really would like to have any one of that cottonwood. I was like, I need to bring more. I was here last time. And I think this might have been the actual last tree job that I really did by myself. It's just tree work by yourself it just sucks. It really does. It's sketchy. I had to climb way up there, this tall skinny thing. It was windy and I was just like, man, I'm just, I didn't film that day, but I was just like, dude, I'm just done doing tree. So I basically just always bring somebody with me because he was, and he was asking me about this one. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely not doing this without somebody. Look at this thing. This is crazy. So here we got a maple. We've actually got one, two, three cedars have fallen into this probably years ago, dude. Look at that tree. You see how it self-corrects? I mean, that tells me that these trees, that one fell and then it grew these shoots off. And then this one fell and it actually started growing upright again. The, the, I think these trees have been hung up in this maple for years, which is just so gnarly. They're actually, that's an alder. So one alder, one, two cedars. And it's, it's a mess and I wasn't there when Jed died at work, but I think this is the situation as I understand it, as it was explained to me. You know, this is super dangerous. Um, I could fall this from the ground maybe, these would go with it, but especially there's that maple, which is actually rotten. Um, I don't want to hit that and <sighs> You know, it's hard to, in the videos, sometimes it's hard, and maybe you don't believe me, but it's just gotta get climbed. It's just the way this is. It's too gnarly. I, uh, I wouldn't be comfortable following this and standing underneath these three trees right above me and then trying to run out of the way, not tripping on stuff. This is crazy. And ordinarily, I'd like to have a bucket truck, but this is kind of a weird deal where it's just, well, well, it's not, it's three hours from my house. I'm in Bellingham, I'm by the Canadian border. I, I'll do down onlys. I'll drive pretty far for a down only because it's just my pickup and saws, but I won't drive my equipment really that far, hour, hour and a half, it's about as far as I want to drive my bucket truck and everything. So if this were closer to my house, this would actually be pretty easy with the bucket truck to piece this apart, but I, I'm not going to drive the bucket truck three hours down the road. It's just, uh, it's just not worth it. Imagine breaking down three hours from my house with a big truck like that. It would just, it's just not worth it. So I'm out here, I, I'm going to have Kevin shoot me a line. He's better with a throw ball than me. And I'm actually gonna go up the maple and I'm gonna kind of piece this stuff out. And I, I want him on the, gr I want an experienced guy on the ground. So Kevin's gonna be on the ground while Randy does that. And um, I, I want an experienced guy here with me. So I gotta kind of detangle this stuff and then fall out from the ground. But especially with what happened to Jed, you know, the thing is these two trees were hung up in this tree that Jed was doing. And as it was explained to me, it was actually the, he was doing his back cut. And like the vibrations of the saw, something just came down, something just lodged. Look at that, actually, you got a hanger right there. That's just what's right here that I can see. Who knows what's up there? It's really, I shouldn't even, st yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's, this is just gnarly. So I want to get above the danger, if that makes sense. I don't want to cut anything down here. I don't want to climb up. I want to shoot a line. This maple's 100 feet tall at least. It's really tall. I want to get above the danger. You know, that way stuff can't fall on me. So I got to get up there. This is going to be a gnarly tree, um, but it's down only. And it, I don't think it'll actually take that long. We should be out of here in a few hours. I'm hoping it's mostly just driving today. But yeah, this was, 
I think the last, obviously I'll do some tree jobs by myself as if it's really small, but I climbed this tree and I'm just like, you know what, man, I'm just done working by myself. So I get these contract climbers to help me and then I'm actually gonna hire a, like a full-time ground guy here uh, any day now. I just put a post out there asking for a guy. So I feel like I've kind of pushed my luck with working by myself. Yeah, see how tall these are? <laughs> yeah, I like it and it was cracked and stuff. So like I said, I've just kind of pushed my luck. I'm, I'm done, I don't wanna work by myself. So I just, I'd rather have more guys than I need than be like, man, I wish I had some help here if you know what I mean. So that's enough talking, let me, let me climb up that thing. Let's see, it's 9.56 folks. Have a good day. What do you say, about 10 o'clock I'll be done? I'll call, it a, call it a day. I know that usually we do day rate, but I was thinking if you get this done in an hour, maybe we could do hourly instead. <laughs> I was thinking about switching back to hourly anyway, so that, that's, that makes sense. It's all right, I'm making so much money with Guilty of Randy. We don't want the, yeah. <laughs> but you've had people like asking over, about Guilty of Randy? Over 20. Really? <laughs> too, yeah, way too many for me to ever get quantify a response. I don't know if you notice that the thing's big. Are you gonna climb the little guy and swing over? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Um, it takes it's definitely, balls uh, the size of my balls to do that tree, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Got big kahunas. I stole that from Randy, folks. The guilt was killing me. Buy these guilty trees and Hawaiian shirts at sappysupplies.com. Sunder's sporting it for me. This is my model. Yeah, I got myself a tall blonde from Norway to model my shirt for me. So you're really, you're really gonna do this to me, huh? Yeah, I am. Pressure? Too much pressure for, for I don't even have my big how shot. Did you do, how did you do that knot, by the way? Can you show that? Uh, you just, I just double it over twice, come around the back of it, put a little loop in it, and then that way you can just pull it, pull it free. All right, time to wake up the neighbors. Wow. There we go. There's a lot of grunting going on. There is a lot of grunting and I'm sorry about that. No, it's nice. It's relaxing. <laughs> it's relaxing to hear. You're carving a bear up there. Nothing <laughs> like known to me. good as I would have done it. <laughs> that was, uh, <laughs> you should see the hinge wood on this thing. Per perfect? I thought it wasn't gonna barb. Yeah, it's definitely perfect. That's yeah. all I ever do. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. If you if you finish your tree before me, it's just because Kevin can't get the throw ball set. He me. doesn't have it in yet! <laughs> are you, uh, are you hand tossing or big shot? I got my big shot, my big shot's in my bucket truck. I do, I'm always moving stuff around and then I don't have it. There we go, that's it. You got it? That is, yeah, I got it. All right. I just needed you filming me to, to get it. Yeah. First try, right? First, yeah. Edit that out too. Yeah, got it first try. Every. 
That's the thing about editing the videos, you know? You just lie like that. It's really nice. That's the spot. This tree is a mess. Yeah, dude, it's 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 crazy. I love how the Unicender goes on. Unicender available at SappySupplies.com. This is Hyper Climb by Samson, also available at Savvy Supplies. It's a very durable 24 strand. So this, this is 200 foot hyper climb. I'm gonna access the tree with this cause my other rope's too short, but I'm gonna switch over to my 16 strand Arbor Freak when I get up there cause it's hundred feet long and I actually want a shorter rope cause that way it's easier for me to like move it around out of my way and stuff. But I need to, it's kind of a tall tree. I wouldn't be able to access it with a hundred foot line. I needed a, a longer rope. So this is, I really like, I don't do a whole lot of rope walking. Um, so thanks Kevin. Uh, I really like this Petzl rope ascension kit with the foot ascender and the knee ascender. I like it because I don't need a chest harness, even though I have one built in, but it's all just built in. It's just, instead of having a chest harness, it's all kind of built in together in one thing. Um, so I actually like this. It, it, it's not totally as customizable as like a soccer or something, but for me, it just gets the job done. Really simple, easy to use. It compacts really small, and I only need two things instead of three because I don't need the chest harness. Thanks, Kevin. Wow, look at that thing. That thing is, this is gnarly, dude. Yeah. I'm really glad I'm going up the tree this way, though. Can you make sure before you take the top, you just double check your GoPro's running? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's going. Make sure that my mustache looks clean. All the folks at home, I'm jealous of it. Did he top that thing? I'm getting there. I'm still gonna top mine first. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Was a big old cut. All right, now I need to come up here. Oh man, I kind of like to take that. I don't want to do it, but sometimes you got to do what you don't want to do, right? How's your tattoo feel under your spurs? Does it feel like you're wearing two sets of spurs? Yeah, <laughs> I'm double climbing, double time. Yeah, <laughs> double timing it. Oh man, you're gonna charge me double. Huh? <laughs> Got a good view up here though. 
not a normal view I get to see all the time of the mountain, the cascade. You should see the Oles. I'm still gonna get my tree done before you, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> first, first one to finish their tree gets the YouTube channel. <laughs> no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sit out here for a little bit. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's like double hollow. Holy smokes, this is bad actually. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. So not only do I have the weight of three trees pushing on this, look, this is hollow and that's no good. And then you look at this side and it's hollow right here. It's like double hollow. This is crazy. I kind of want to tie into that side, but wow, dude, this is so sketch. Dude, that thing looks gnarly, Jake. Just from where I'm at. Well, since you're done, you want me? You want me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want me since I, can I come up there with you? I don't know what else to tie into, though. It's all right. Maple's really strong. <laughs> yeah, you're solid. It's not gonna tear out or break or nothing. That's why I was kind of worried about this being a big old. So oh, sick eagle! Ah! Ah! That was dope. Wait, I couldn't tell if that was the eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I do have good eagle calls. Let's just be realistic. Minced tree out of that, Randy. Minced meat cut my tree into pieces. This is my last cut. I miss my bucket truck. <laughs> oh, I do too. Hmm, that looks like pretty hectic in there. Takes balls the size of my balls to do a tree like this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I got away with an easy one today. These trees are always, uh, one of the things that's dangerous about when you're rappelling into a bunch of debris is it's really easy to nick your rope when it's under you and then you don't know you nicked it and then you rappel down and off your line that is really really common down to the ground yeah so i've, I've definitely really nicked good. my rope doing that same exact thing i did that once early on in my career and i like my sheath came out i was like repelling also i was on the core only oh yeah it's it's yeah. pretty scary like i nicked my rope underneath me i didn't know and i repelled down I had a lot of, I didn't like fall, but I had a lot of rope damage.
a shredder. Oh, look at that, did you see that? I just touched that thing and it shot out like a missile, just like what happened to Jed, you know what I mean? I saw that, like I, I just, saw that dead piece just fall. I just barely touched it, <laughs> like a torpedo. Dude, crazy, I barely touched it. Oh, I broke the money log. I got escaped it. No, I was ready to make my make my quick exit move. Dang, that was crazy. I turned my GoPro on 55 minutes ago. You just did that big cottonwood in less than an hour. Oh, well, that's what I'm so, known for, Randy, the one hour tree guy. Just imagine how fast I would have done it. <laughs> no, that's really good, man. I, I haven't even cut hardly anything on one yet. Yeah, but you have a lot, the tree is different. Mine was just like, Thanks, man. let up there and yeah. let, it, let it rip. They're just different. They're just different, you know? They're, it doesn't matter about the size. <laughs> <laughs> it's how you use it. It looks super sketchy. <laughs> Can you guys please, I'd prefer so, sweet have lies. Fun, have fun cutting. Tell me my tree's super safe. From, the look, from here it looks safe as can be. <laughs> 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 I feel safe. Dude, I, I've got a cavity here, and then the other side there's another cavity. I got two cavities, one spot. This is a Screaming Eagle. This is a 261. John's Custom Saws made this for me. Years ago, haven't heard from him. I think there's a guy on Facebook pretending to be him <clears throat> selling chainsaws. I don't think it's actually him because I texted him, he didn't respond, and he doesn't post on YouTube still, so I don't actually think it's really John. Anyways, this is a 261. It's got a four up handle. It was a lot of work for John to make it. You can't buy these. He, I think he was trying to like make a sellable version, but it was so much work that it just never really worked out. People ask me about it all the time. It's kind of a special saw. But it's a 261, really light, really small. It's only 50 cc's. I'm actually not gonna double tie in for this. This is a little bit irrational, but sometimes you cut a stump and this, the, a, a tree and the stump actually stands up when it's failed like this. But this has all the stuff on it and it's been like this for years. I don't see it coming back up. But I, I, but if it did, I wouldn't want my flip line around that thing. See how nice and short my rope is though? It doesn't even reach the ground. That means nothing can really fall on it. I'm gonna take the stopper knot out, which is dangerous, but I'm just doing it temporarily because I want my rope nice and smooth when I'm cutting all this big sketchy stuff because I don't want anything grabbing it. All right, here we go. Tree felling from a tree. <laughs> comes the hog.
Whew, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Oh my god, you cutting that alder? Oh my gosh, Kevin, you're a savage. Yeah, Kevin, you see it's on the cedar? You gotta cut that cedar too. You gotta cut the cedar, it's gonna pop. It's gonna it's gonna barber chair. It's gonna pop. Savage. on me? I can. <laughs> is my mustache dirty? That's really important to me. Oh, it actually is, yeah. yeah is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like looking like in a gnarly mess of a tree. It looks cool. <laughs> like, like what? What is that? That is a that's crazy. A sable, a cedar maple, cedar alder. maple alder. Yeah, and this it's got like upright shoots too. It's yeah, so it's the nursing of the. That's crazy. Are you gonna go all the way out to that tip of that cedar? I'm just gonna go to where. I, yeah. No, I just want to go till I can make a comfortable cut with my screaming eagle. That's nice how you have that short rope so you're able to put it on the other side. Yeah, right? Thanks that, for the acknowledging that. Well, it's just like 200 I, foot I rope is ro crazy. I love the short rope too. It's so weird, the longer I climb, the shorter my ropes get. <laughs> Dropping trees up here. Dropping trees on trees. 
Oh shoot, you're you're on a Prusik cord too. I thought you were on a Unisender when I heard you say earlier. I went up on the Unisender, but I'm actually working oh, on the Prusik. Oh, SRT, yeah. like rope climb. So. Do you like rope climbing on the Unisender most of all versus um, like a rope wranch or any other type of single um, line device? You know what I love about the Unisender is how easy I can put it on the rope. Like I grabbed it on my truck out of pure laziness. Oh, midline. Like, I'll just throw this on there, you know what I mean? Rather than the rope runner that I gotta take apart, kinda. I like that midline ability, but I just can't get over the like, just functioning the unicenter because I've used it a bunch. I just suck at it. Like it's not. I'd have no, to I use it. For I a don't long really. Time. I don't. No. I want to like it, but I don't really like it. I'm gonna go out there and make a cut a little further out. I'm just cut. Technically, I don't really need to cut these branches, but I feel like everything is smoother. Everything's safer. Everything's easier. Everything makes more sense if you just cut stuff out of the way. It's like going up a rope if you got a big drop zone and like taking a big top out and then coming down but leaving the limbs down low. I just feel like everything goes better when you just clear everything out of your way. I agree 100%. The clearer, the better. I don't want something ripping on me or, yeah. or ripping on my rope or just something that can come back and stab me. Like, you know when you're new to climbing, the tree won't quite fit, you go, I'll just take a top out and then I'll come down. It's yeah. like, everything's so much easier if you just cut the limbs off. If you just do your due diligence and do the, the dumb thing that yeah. no one really wants to do. <laughs> And I also wanted to cut it past the stump. I don't want to drop this tree on my tree. I want so, yeah. We can't really cut it from the ground. Like you see this thing has failed. It's laying on here. It's like, it's already failed. So cutting it, don't really be, I got it. This is a weird tree, you know? I think a lot of guys might walk up to a tree like this and think, we'll just fall. Like on the, if you're a timber faller, you run across something like this in the woods, you have to cut it or you just leave it, ignore it. But logging and timber falling is a dangerous job. I, I feel like this is the safest way to do it, climbing around, you know? So even though some people might cut all this from the ground, I feel much safer doing it this way, especially having a dear friend of mine get killed in almost this exact situation. It's worth it for me to take the time, even though I'm tying into this, this <laughs> rotten tree. It's just different degrees of danger. It's all dangerous no matter how you do it, but. I yeah. think falling that, even if you're a logger, is a bold move. Yeah. Falling that maple, like just, yeah. that's like a run for your life, cut run and run. And, life, that's, yeah. and a cut and run's never fun. I'm gonna top the cedar here. Yeah. yeah. I'm topping a tree. <laughs> it's crazy. I like topping a sideways tree while tied into a tree. Pretty much the craziest tree any of us have ever done. Never seen a tree like this before. <laughs> you ready for the top, big big boys? <laughs> to the uh, left my abs are yeah i was gonna say that was a that was a tense body <sighs> face cut just like holding everything that six pack that randy's got <laughs> nice job jake thank you that was a probably a like one of the more difficult cuts because of the angle huh one of the hardest cuts i've ever done <laughs> At least I left a stub there, something I could at least stand on. I saw you standing on that with your, was you hitting your spur in it or were you just hitting your just foot? Just standing on it, yeah. <laughs> What 
are your thoughts on what's gonna happen to this when this is free? Think it's gonna fall down or stay where it's at? With the one in its foot on? Well, like, you, so that one's probably gonna fall down because of the force of that, yeah. but do you think that'll like kind of stay where it's at because it's been there for so no. long? Or do you think it's, it's gonna, gonna go fall too? I think there's too much weight. I think, it's, gonna I think it's a lot of weight, but I just... Yeah, I don't know. It's been here for a long time, but... I'm I would just be crazy it if it settled there. and it's just like, do we have, it stays like right there. That'd be weird. That'd be wild. How long has it been like this? Since before Probably about almost 30 years. <laughs> it's been sitting there a while, huh? Oh, you're just gonna make a balls to the wall cut right there out of the way? Yeah. That's sick. <laughs> Here's the thing. I've got the whole weight of that log on this thing too. This thing's gonna, it wants to whip my way. Oh, like come at you? Yeah. Yeah, that's always a, that's a predicament. Definitely, yes, higher up is a better, yeah. better feel. I just don't wanna, it's like all this pressure. Like I cut this thing, boom, it crashes into the tree I'm standing in. Plus it's got the weight of that big tree. I mean, this tree's been holding all these trees for years, right? It's just, it's not going anywhere. Right? I don't think it's going anywhere. Yeah, the tree I'm in. Like, lo logically, I don't think it's gonna, I mean, these are still sunk in the ground. It's not gonna fall like free fall. You know, they still got the roots holding on. I'm gonna cut it from up here. <laughs> Severed now. I think anything that's gonna happen is. Yeah, this is a weird tree, dude. Ratchet scrunch available at sappysupplies.com. You keep your ratchet scrunch on your saddle? Yeah. That's awesome. You're just gonna take off the power head. I'm gonna cut it from the ground now. Cause it's all crumpled, you know? Yeah. So I know that if I cut it from the ground, it'll all disintegrate. It'll dislodge you know I mean? itself. Cause I've got two cuts here. So I know now if I cut it from the ground, it'll all just work itself out. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to stay up here. All right, so check it out. This thing's still lodged, but it's so severed now that this, there's like this eight foot trunk right here that's just kind of lodged in here. Now I know if I cut it from the ground, this hole is going to all disintegrate. Whereas before, if I cut it from the ground, the tip is still lodged in. But because it's cut, it's like, well, why get another saw and finish this cut? I know that it's essentially 90% cut it will fail when I cut it at the bottom. So I'm just gonna come out of this tree. I'll get these trees out of my way. Take a look at this tree. I feel like I can actually just fall this, but we'll, we'll see once the other ones are out of my way. 395, 42 inch bar, full comp chain, ported by Madsons. my bar that certainly did a lot careful with that hanging stub 
Uh, I'll go over there and get it. You've, yeah. you've done enough. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you. That's the, uh, the plunge cutting. You just keep going in and in over and over and over again. And it opens up the kerf as you go. Anton, show me that in the red ones. There it is, in the most dangerous predicament you could ever imagine. The most dangerous thing I've ever done in my life is going to get this bar. <laughs> One sec, take. Sight. Look at my curve. I'm opening it up. Things cut. <laughs> she just rests in there? Yeah. I think I'll probably go cut the other cedar a little bit. Uh, dang, dude, look at that log wedge up there. Yeah. That's always no edge. Am yeah. I gonna break the... the crotch? No, you're good. Is it off or on? Yeah, it was it was off. That was just a test to <laughs> see if I could <laughs> That's how you cut in sandals. <laughs> <laughs> See, I wouldn't be tripping if I had nice sandals on. Dude, I was thinking, you know, I didn't want to say it. So we got everything out of this tree now. I think we can follow it. I feel safe now, but I don't feel that safe. There's a big hangar up there, a lodge up there still. So I would like to cut it from over there, but I think I'm probably going to cut it from here so that I'm not underneath that log. But we're going to try to put it Right down there. And Randy's got his wedging sandals, so. I sure do. You wanna know something crazy? I worked for a municipality on Friday, or last Thursday, yeah. in Puyallup, and some guy out of the municipality came back outside. He goes, Randy, where's your work sandals? Cause <laughs> I'm like, who, he goes, I, I know you from Jake's channel. I just thought I'd come out and say that. I'm like, that is the weirdest thing. Cause I didn't know, yeah, I was like weird. He's like, I don't know who you are. Just like very confident about maybe That's being crazy. my best friend. <laughs> and I was like, so I have no idea who you are, best friend. Hey, this is where the full wrap is nice. I don't really want to be cutting over here, but it's safer to, and I got something to hold at this 42 inch bar, you know? On the other side, I can use this one, which would be more comfortable, but you know what I'm saying.
<laughs> that scared the bejesus out of me. I'm a little nervous at leaning that way. Had the hanger in it, but I think the sizzle probably maybe helped a little. I don't know. It's, it looked like it stayed true to as much as it could have for the weight going out towards the house. Yeah, it definitely went I mean, with it, the, it definitely went, went the. I wanted it. It really leaned that way, so I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> Is that pretty, pretty rotten? Yeah. And you were in that. She was rotten? <laughs> what? Holy cow. Wow, man, that was a crazy tree. That was so gnarly. Hey, Jake, nice job. That was sick. Oh. Yeah, I was, that had the, that had my heart going. And I wasn't even cutting. I was like looking yeah. at that piece, like you're under there. It was like, oh, I know, that hanger, it was a crazy scenario. But it's, I mean, shoot, that thing's pretty lodged in there. It stayed in there even after it hit the ground. So, I mean, still a good thing to worry about though. <laughs> crazy. Look at that, well, we took a dangerous situation and made it safe. We got all of the, this was actually four trees. An alder, two cedars, and a huge rotten maple. So, we got it all down. It's kind of amazing how, I'm kind of amazed at how solid the stump is on this maple. But it's rotten all the top, oh, man. Yeah, that was quite the tree. That was a puzzle, for sure. Look at this thing, it's still, amazingly, I was nervous about this falling out when I was cutting it. This thing's still in the tree. That is so crazy. All right. Time to head home. Look at that dirt. Holy smokes, folks. All right, we're headed home. That was, that was fun. Hey, nice job today, boys. Hey. So thanks for your help. Everybody, nice job. Thank you for watching this. Please like and subscribe. Check out sappysupplies.com. And yeah, thanks for watching. Any final words, anybody? Huh? Anything? No, tree, tree day. better. What? <laughs> Norway's Norway. better. <laughs> Comes all the way here to, to say complain better. about our country. America! <laughs> Show them out! <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later.